Hey everybody, welcome back. James here out here again with you at the range on the bench here. I am shooting at 23 yards. Uh, got the Umarex Gauntlet 22 caliber. This thing is choked down to 5.4 millimeters. And I wanted to see if there's a big difference in sorting the pellets just like I did in the part one with the Beeman Chief. It really liked the uh, 551 head size. Uh, and see if it really makes a matter makes a big difference with the choke in the barrel um, shooting 5.52 and 5.51 sorted crossman premier hollow point 14.3 grain pellets and i made a new pellet sorter a uh, new little prototype i made instead of carrying around the big bulky ones that i made uh, just to see if it makes a big difference in this gun so again they're tw 23 yards and 20 and a half meters uh, copy in the first video and let me show you, show you the shooting scenes. All right, well, unfortunately, most of the pellets from the 5.52 and the 5.51 went into the same hole. Uh, but you can see that the 5.52 were the first pellets and they had the biggest spread. And then when I switched over to the next six shots, because I shot six of each, the 5.51 is insane. I mean, they I couldn't even tell because my scope is set at four power still from where I was shooting long range. And my aim point was here with the very top mill dot in my scope because I have the scope set up for very long range still from when I did the Air Gun Depot Extreme Long Range Offhand Challenge. So just to show you guys though, uh, you know, the 5.52 head size I can cover with a quarter, easy. But the 5.51, just like in the first video with the QB Chief, outside to outside group is still less than half of a dime I mean they're pretty much all in one ragged hole I mean you can't even that's insane out of a choked gun uh, so I would say that this one loves the 551 head size pellets also just a quick little experiment that I wanted to make and using the new uh, pellet gauge which I double, triple checked myself with my calipers just to make sure it was on. And that's awesome. I wish I adjusted the scope, but I didn't think it was the, uh, I did adjust it a few clicks, but I didn't think it would uh, actually shoot in the same hole. Like I said, the scope set up for extreme long range, uh, still shooting at four power at 23 yards. So, oh well, it is what it is. And I'm happy with this, especially sorting these inexpensive pellets that are readily available here in the United States pretty much everywhere for a 22 caliber 14.3 grain hollow point I think I paid the other day for a tin of uh, brand new that I haven't opened yet it was six dollars and fifty cents at my local Walmart so uh, after sorting them I could definitely see that uh, I can get the most accuracy out of them doing a 551 head size out of my QB Chief 22 caliber and my Umarex Gauntlet and 22 caliber so as always guys 
I hope you got something from this video. I appreciate you watching as always. I thought it was very interesting as like in the first part with the uh, Chief being a 5.49 uh, bore diameter pushing a pellet down the barrel of both guns. You can measure that with either a digital caliper or a micrometer and find out your bore diameter and then you can go from there. And I think the reason why these pellets are shooting so well uh, closer to or less than a, a one thousandth of an inch is because they're a harder pellet with antimony in them. So you're causing uh, about the same surface area of a 552 head size pellet as with the 551 head size pellet that's harder than a softer pellet like JSB. So anyways guys, I don't want to ramble on anymore. I appreciate you watching as always. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next one.